What's going on, everyone? So, Fatima, we're clearly seeing the transformation uh, and the beginning of the pregnancy, but it has been heavily expedited. Um, she is more likely than not going to give birth uh, in the season finale. Um, she clearly hasn't been pregnant for nine months. Elgin is over there force-feeding her and giving her his blood to kind of speed along the process here. Um, but while Fatima is trapped and kind of going through her you know, pregnancy, her, her metamorphosis with this monster baby, um, she discovers this trap door. She discovers this secret door uh, in this room that is already a secret room. And the question is, okay, well then, what is it? Right? Is it just like a storage place? Right? Like, you know, maybe that's where they stored things back in the day. Um, is it like another hidden room that, you know, kind of was like a panic room or something? Or is it a entry point to a tunnel that leads somewhere? My guess is it's probably an entry point that leads somewhere such as the tunnels. Now, the reason I think this is because you got to think. Before the talismans, right, there was a time where you had to hide. You didn't have the safety of, like, sleeping in a bed or anything like that. You needed to hide. And you have this cellar, which has a secret room, which in the secret room has a trap door that's got to lead somewhere. Well, if you're trapped in a secret room... And there are monsters that if they find that secret room and enter that secret room can eat you, it would make sense that, oh, hey, maybe we should have an escape route, right? Maybe we should have a way to get in and out. And you have this kind of trap door, the secret door that would go underground. Well, what's underground? Oh, the tunnels, right? The caves in which, you know, you see Victor and Tabitha and Jade and all them enter. And we don't know if that is the place that the monsters have always dwelled in. We don't know if that's where the monsters have always lived, right? There appears to be times where they weren't or they were in different areas of the cave and stuff, right? Like Victor goes in there and they were nowhere to be found, right? Jade went in there by himself and didn't run into any monsters. That was relayed to us. So it is very possible that there was a point in time where Monsters just didn't live in the caves. And you see all the drawings on the caves and all the markings and stuff. So it's very possible that that is where they used to hide. And that is where they used to, you know, run to at night and stuff. And maybe some people lived in those caves before the town and stuff. I mean, there's things dating back to the... We have dates dating back to, like, the 1500s, right? You see the old village, right? Like, you gotta think, at some point, there were different places of residence for people, like the caves, like, you know, the, the village, like maybe little, you know, brick, you know, rock built, uh, cellars and stuff in which they created all these trap doors and all these secret doors. So I really do think that that trap door is probably an escape route that leads more likely than not to the tunnels, or maybe it leads to, you know, one of the sewers over by the town or something, right? Like, it's possible it could lead somewhere else. But given that, you know, Fatima is pregnant with a monster baby, right? And it, it was relayed that, like, yeah, you're pregnant, but it's not your baby. And I think it's safe to say that, like, hey, it's probably leading to where the monsters are, <laughs> right? Like, the monsters are probably close to home. And look, maybe that's even, it could even be another room that maybe, you know, some ritual used to take place. You know, maybe um, that was kind of like the entry door, right? And many moons ago, you, you had this other room to where, you know, so let's say, because sacrifices seem to be a thing with this show, right? So maybe that is a place where they used to go and sacrifice people. And maybe you had somebody that was up top just to to make sure and no one interfered with the, the sacrifices or no one that was supposed to come in wasn't and you had this secret trap door and all that. I mean, you saw the, the body in that room, right? Like that could be, you know, may, maybe have been somebody at some point that ended up getting there. And if they didn't know about the secret room, you know, it's just, there's obviously a lot of possibilities that could take place with that room. But I do think it's going to be relatively straightforward. I mean, 
You, you have the monsters and where they dwell. You have Fatima getting ready to give birth to a monster baby. I mean, she literally has to drink blood. Elgin confirmed that, hey, it's not yours. So, okay, well, whose is it? Fatima was told that she it was impossible for her to ever have kids. All of a sudden, she's pregnant, has a kid. You know, at first, it was kind of like, is it a miracle? What is it, right? But then it's like, okay, it makes sense, right? Like, she is... It's death. It's the end of... You, or, or the fact that she can't get pregnant is a symbol, a symbolism of death, right? Like that's the end of a bloodline. That's the end of everything, right? So it's like, okay, well, she's a great candidate for this immaculate conception. She ends up giving birth to this monster baby, you know, and maybe that's how they escape with the baby or something, right? Because I do think I'm still 50 50, right? There, there's a big part of me that thinks that Fatima could very well be baby food and end up getting eaten by the baby by the baby or you know the monsters eater or something like that but i also think that there's going to be a part where because you know it's it's a still a show right where boyd and ellis are going to come in like you know the knights that they are and kick the door in and save the day right and you know i could see her already giving birth to the baby i think the baby thing they've just at this point, you've built the baby story up so much. If you just don't go through with it, <laughs> I'd be like, I'd be furious at that point, right? So I just think, yeah, you have to at least have the pregnancy. Okay, so you have the pregnancy, and then I can see Fatima getting ready to be eaten or something, and then Boyd and Ellis come and save the day, and all is right in the world, and it's like, okay. But I think that, you know, the monsters will be there because it's a monster baby, right? So the monsters are probably going to take the baby. Monsters are probably going to take the baby and have it be one of its own and raise it. And look, I've talked about this before. Just because we haven't seen a baby monster at any point in the show doesn't mean that they didn't exist at some point, right? Like, I don't think it's a baby, you know, crawling around eating people. But look, we've seen Fatima go from not pre not looking pregnant in the slightest to having a huge baby ready to pop in literally a, a night, <laughs> right? Like, so I, I don't, I, I would, I think it's a safe assumption to believe that the baby is probably going to grow rather quickly. I don't think it's going to be, you know, 30 years before the baby looks 30. I think it'll be something where, you know, a, a year is really 30. You know, every day is a new year or something like that, right? And, you know, within a couple of days, right, the, the baby's the size of a teenager or whatever. And it's just like, oh, okay, right? Like two weeks, boom, there you go. Teenage baby running around eating people. Um, but nonetheless, right, like, I'm curious what's going to happen with Fatima, right? Is she going to live? Is she going to die? You know, is it going to be a, a mixture of like, you know, maybe, maybe she gets tore up a little bit and they save her, but she ultimately dies in the end or something. And it's kind of like a, you know, break boy type thing, right? Like, you know, oh, kind of like Randall, right? Where it's like, it's a reminder, but this time maybe she doesn't survive her wounds or something like that. Also, is she going to even be able to survive the pregnancy if she has the baby, right? Like, is that something? Or is the, does the baby just kill her, right? If it's some monster baby. Like, what if it, like, rips through her stomach or something, right? Like, there's a lot of ways that this could go. I mean, this could go pretty bad. Um, but I, I just think that that trap door... They, I mean, look, they clearly set up and established that trap door for a reason, right? Like, that wasn't a, a coincidence. That wasn't an accident. That wasn't like, a, oh, like, didn't think that came... No, like, that was established for a purpose, right? And there's only one episode left. And I really hope, personally, that they don't drag this on in the next season. I mean, you spent the entire season, really like a season and a half, building this story pot, right? Like... Can we not draw this out that long, right? Like, I, I hope that the payoff is good. I hope that the payoff is worth it, right? And actually has a, you know, a, a point, right? But I think the trap door is that. I think it's an escape route. I think it was, it's probably something that leads to the tunnels that allows you to get out and get safe. But we now know that the monsters dwell in the tunnels. And that the monsters are in the tunnels. And which means that you're probably not going to be able to just safely go about your business. Right? Also, what if that's how Boyd and Ellis end up saving her? Right? What if, what if it's something where, you know, she pops the baby out. And the monsters are like standing around up. And Boyd and Ellis are like going through the caves. Maybe somehow, some way through Sarah or something. 
they're able to get get a message or whatever, right? And you know, they or they find the hatch, right? Somehow, some way, or maybe that's how Fatima. Maybe Ellison um, and Boyd don't save her, right? Maybe they she, she has the monster surrounding. Boom! She open finally gets the door open. She jumps down, right, and she just runs aimlessly through the tunnels, gets out, right? I mean, there's again, there's a lot of possibilities how this could play out, but I don't know. Like I said, hopefully it's a big play out, but I I, I think that the you know again the the hatch, you know, little trap door, it's there for a purpose, right? There's a reason that's going to have some type of significance. They didn't just dig that up just for fun, right? That there wasn't an accident that they just like left that in in the footage and stuff in the episode. So we'll see. But, you know, anyway, as always, this is a discussion, and I pass a question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? How do you feel? What are your thoughts? Um, what do you think that trapdoor is? What do you think it leads to? Do you think, yeah, it leads to the tunnels? Do you think, like, nah, no way it leads to the tunnels. It's got to go elsewhere. Um, again, however you feel, whatever your thoughts are, I'd love to hear it either way. So let me know down in the comments below. That being said, if you haven't liked this video, hit that like button. Helps me not, so we enjoy these types of videos, and I truly appreciate it. Not subscribe to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell notifications. Appreciate y'all. See you in the next one. Thank you.